Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in today's video, in this pro tip, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how you always need to be checking your tooling. So what you're looking at here is a little 3 8 chasing tool that I have made for putting in uh, moving material, spreading material really, like a fuller. And I just wanted to take and show you this here, hopefully you guys can see this clearly on camera. But I've got a crack in the end of this tool, and it's went all the way down the shank here. Now I've already diagnosed what happened to get allow this crack to come into existence. Let me get you a little more in focus, hopefully that's more in focus. What has happened to take and get this crack into existence here is the fact that one, I did not thermocycle my uh, spring steel enough. I think that contributed to it as well. But I also had a few other tools that cracked in the process even after thermocycling and they were all quenched in water. Now I've been using the same coil spring uh, that I've been cutting off of for a great many years now actually uh, and I've always water quenched and it's always worked just fine. But here of recently I've hit a section in this spring that does not like the water quench method. So I've had to take and shift tactics and go to an oil quench method and that has worked out a lot better. So don't be afraid to take and look over your tools, check them out, make sure that you don't have any cracks in them or splits. If one method that you're using like quenching or the particular method you're using to heat treat your tooling is not working out, always try a different method and see what you can come up with. Uh, this is one of those things where it's important to adapt and overcome as soon as you can. So, you know, you don't want to be wasting a bunch of time filing and grinding and sanding and forging and heat treating, all to find you have a whole slew of tools that end up cracking and breaking, like what you see here. Now, the danger of a tool like this is that piece there can split off and injure somebody. With the crack of a hammer blow, one of those sides would just split, it could come off in your hand. There's a lot of different problems that you can end up having from a tool that's split like this. So always be very aware of your tools, check them out before you take and go just to pound in a way and uh, you know, you'll have a lot safer journey on that. So thank you for watching this video. That'll be it for this pro tip. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, let me know what you thought I could do better in the comment section down below. I will keep in mind that you may want to be respectful about it as I do not take just criticism. Constructive is great, but just correct criticism won't really work for you. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave it a like and check out our website over at blacksmithpdfs.com for more additional blacksmithing help and information. So that's it for today. God bless you and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.